Well, everyone needs help at one time or another. And if you are human, you'll need help. There's no shame in that or shame in telling others that you are struggling because it's all about communication. And May is Mental Health Awareness Month. This next segment is sponsored by the Compass Health Network. And joining me today is Dr. Paul Tomlinson. He is the executive director of the Research Institute at Compass Health Network. Dr. Tomlinson, thanks for being here with us today. My pleasure, Chelsea. Thanks for having me. Of course, and today we are diving in deep with May. The theme of the month is Mental Health Awareness Month. What is this all about? So, as you said, it's really to put a spotlight on uh, what should be a normal conversation about um, the importance of mental health. That, uh, getting across the point that mental health is just part of health and uh, we need to have normalized conversations around, uh, around the topic. It's not a taboo topic. It's something that we can talk about in our everyday lives. It should be, you would think, but taboo is a good word. For some folks, um, it remains a taboo subject, something uncomfortable, something stigmatized, a word that I've grown to kind of despise. But uh, yeah, I mean, we really need to normalize struggle and normalize talking about um, yeah, mental is health. Life, life is, is hard, hard. And, but we're built hard. for hard things, yeah, you know? We are. Human beings are built for hard things. That's what makes it so incredible. But why do we need to talk about those hard things? Why is it so important to start that conversation? I think the main thing, and this is a drum that I beat a lot, is that when you don't, you begin to be isolated. You begin to feel like you're the only one who's ever felt that way. You begin to narrow your focus to a pinpoint, and uh, that can be really unhealthy and uh, can cause you to to spiral uh, into uh, really unnecessary suffering. So the more we talk about it, uh, you know, we call psychotherapy the talking cure. You know, there's there's healing in telling our stories and uh, relating our narrative. Oh, I love that. It just, just gave me chills oh, because good. it's so important to continue those conversations. I mean, what is really important, or what do we need to be aware of right now when it comes to mental health? So many things, but my uh, the drum I'm beating this month is hope. Our mission statement at Compass is inspire hope, promote wellness. So I love that first part. And um, I think, you know, talking to a lot of folks these days, the, uh, the hope tank is uh, low or on empty for some people. So we need to talk about um, what makes us hopeful. And there's a whole lot of ways to do that. I have a podcast that's available, just came out, um, where I give some suggestions about uh, how, to, how to cultivate and nourish our hope. Uh, and you can find that at compasshealthnetwork.org, among other things. Uh, and, but there's, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, hopelessness which is in many ways one of the number one uh, symptoms of mental health challenge these days in the, in the midst of and then post pandemic. We wanna fill up our hope tank. Yes. <laughs> well, we are running out of time, Doc, but really quickly, what's one thing that you do to fill up your hope tank? Well, for me, it's music and connection. And music to me, I was just talking to friends right before this, that music is the shortest distance between two people for me. Uh, and so music, and, but music for me has always been uh, a way of connecting. And there's nothing, there's nothing more important in terms of the nourishment of our souls and our minds and our hearts than connecting with other people um, on many, many levels. And I agree with you there, because you can turn on some, some feel good music and yeah. your mood just completely change. Yeah, it's good I for your brain. That. It is good for for your brain. Well, and thanks so much for being exactly. <laughs> well, thanks for sharing a little bit of your heart with us today. My pleasure. And showing all of St. Louis how we can continue to fill up our hope tank and continue those conversations surrounding mental health. So go ahead, show Compass Health Network some love on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. You can also visit them online at compasshealthnetwork.org. And go ahead and put the number in your phone. It's eight. 888-237-4567. That is a mental health crisis line. We want you to, if you do feel hopeless, reach out and get some help. Again, doctor, thanks so much for being here with us. My today. pleasure. Thank Don't you. go anywhere, St. Louis. We'll be right back in a couple of minutes.